everybody. Welcome to an all new episode of Talking Toys. I'm Josh and I've got some great toys to show you that have come out to your local comic shops or are about ready to come out to your local comic shops. First things up, we're going to do the Alfred Hitchcock figure here. This is really cool from Mondo. Highly, highly detailed one six scale figure. This you know, everybody recognizes the director of iconic films such as Psycho, North by Northwest, The Birds, and Vertigo. So this thing is, like I said, just very, very detailed. It's got a little knife in his hand. Comes with a director's chair that says Hitchcock on it right there. And, of course, a giant bird because what Hitchcock thing would be, you know, wouldn't be complete without a large bird to peck your eyes out. So there's that. Very neat. He comes with two alternate sets of hands. So I'm going to show you that as well. They're right here in the front. Yeah, check that out. Little grippy hands. And then two stogies or cigars to most of you folks that aren't with the hip language. So, Or they could be something else completely, but let's go with uh, cigars. So <laughs> these are neat. But this is from our friends at Mondo. This actually shipped to local comic stores on the 5th of July. So this is available for purchase. The, the selling price on this is, I believe, $185. And it's like I said, this thing is absolutely incredible looking because you've got an actual cloth outfit, articulation all over the place. Includes a clapboard too. So little director uh, Alfred Hitchcock can do that. So that's pretty neat. But that is from our friends at Mondo. It does come in a package, a large package with, I believe, a window front. And you can see the iconic, you know, little silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock where anybody else would look like they were blowing a bubble, but that's his face. So open it up. And that's the inside packaging. Of course, we've taken him out to show you a little bit more of the detail on him. But a very simple package and a great looking figure. I mean, it's a 1 6 scale. That price point's not bad for how detailed this is, but a very, you know, a good overall value for that. You can take a pan from up, you know, top to bottom on them one more time so everybody can see them. And we'll move on to our next item, which is going to be the Batman versus Superman Nightmare Batman. Now, this is hard because it does have a glare. I'm going to take him out. Now this is from our friends at Medicom. I'm going to move Mr. Uh, Hitchcock out of the way here. And all his different accessories, like Mr. Potato Head, he comes with so much stuff. All right, so this is Nightmare Batman. He's got a ton of accessories with him. This is a previews exclusive. So a previews exclusive toy, which means you're going to find this in your specialty shops. Your local comic stores, make sure you look for it. Very, very neat. You're going to have a lot of different little uh, accessories that come with him. He's just over six inches tall. We'll slide him out here. He's got all kinds of accessories. We don't want to take everything out because it's just a lot. But we'll take the actual figure and show you what he looks like. Here he is. And not bad at all. Like I said, you've got a big trench coat on him. You've got the goggles. You've got the little scarf on here. Comes with guns, binoculars, you know, a, you know, a staff here. He's got an actual cowl that comes with him that is a kind of like detached cowl. So I guess you can sit there. It doesn't slip over the head on the uh, alternate head that they have for Bruce Wayne. But it does, you know, it does come with it. So you've got an alternate head here. Very cool looking. Then these are pretty detailed from our friends at Medicom. And this, the retail price on it, I believe is $53.99. And this, again, this is in stock as well as the product you just saw before. This is in stock with Diamond. Um, actually, check that. The Alfred Hitchcock is back ordered right now. This is in stock with, uh, with Diamond. So anybody that goes to a local comic store and can't find it, ask them to order it for you. But again, a good looking figure. I'm going to see if I can get him to stand up. He does have a ton of different accessories in here. But it's very well done. We'll just lean him up against this real quick. There you go. Mm -hmm. So that is your Medicom uh, Nightmare Batman. 
He was trying to run out of view of the camera. Next on to the Agent Venom Marvel Now statue from Kotobukiya. This is an Artifacts Plus. This is really cool. I mean, it's a definitely a cool looking thing. And what's really neat about these are the fact that the base is actually kind of heavy. It's a metal base here. And you see, you know, the, you know, the eyes kind of design right here. But it's a magnetic statue. So it kind of clips to the base. So he's not going to fall over too easy because he actually does have magnets on the bottom of his feet. And you can kind of see them right there. So that's a nice little added touch to it. And he's got kind of a little blocking for the back of his foot too to make it look more complete. But this is from Kotobukiya. And it's seven and a half inches tall. We can show you right here. And you'll get the gist of how tall it is. I mean, from that angle, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is seven and a half inches. It's just from the angle you're viewing it, it looks like more like seven, but it's not. And next to a standard water bottle, it's going to look kind of like this. So that's what the Agent Venom is. But again, just like everything else with Coda, this you do have to put together. So there's little, his arms lock in, his torso, his head. Uh, it comes in a nice package here which like most of the Marvel Now ones, pretty standard packaging, got some graphics on there, shows you some different views of the figure. And this one, the retail is $64.99. And again, from Kotobukiya. So not bad looking at all for the uh, Agent Venom. So now for something completely different. <laughs> so we slide in this. Now, these are always fun because this is a very niche market, you know, but it's expanding all the time. This is the Gemini Saga. Uh, uh, let's see what, what's it called here. Saint Seiya. I'm like, I'm not as familiar with these toys, but they are very cool and very, very detailed in here. So it's the Gemini Saga and it comes with a God cloth armor. So you see the packaging. Pretty neat and very uh, like reflective, kind of with that gold color. And you'll see when we open this, you'll see why it has that kind of look to it because it does represent what's inside pretty well. This is multiple tiers of packaging, multiple tiers. I mean, you're talking a lot of stuff going on in this. And this, the retail, as you'll see on the screen, is about $119.99. So it's not a cheap figure, but it comes with a whole lot of stuff. And I'm going to kind of tilt this up and hopefully not from the glare. You can see and get in on some of these things. Got different faces. Um, just a whole lot going on there. It's a seven inch figure. It has the God cloth armor and three optional expression parts and five optional right hand parts, four optional left hand parts and an, and an object mode frame. So... It's got an explanation sheet with this too, so it's got a little little read up for it. You'll see. I'll slide it in front of this real quick and it'll just like it's passing by like traffic. Say, it's got that with it. So there's that. But the thing is, like when we put this one off to the side, you'll see when I said that reflectiveness, these pieces of this armor are gigantic, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, are very highly polished and they look really good. Now this is where it comes into more of the armor and this has more of a gold an actual gold this has like a yellowy gold kind of look to it and i might just for illustration's sake i know it's gonna be a lot of packaging noise but take one of these out to show you and see how like this gold plastic looks it's got a nice reflection to it it looks to be made pretty well it's not chipping or anything so that's cool and you've got you know an actual you know, little pieces here and there. I mean, this goes to make an entirely other figure, basically, that one. So that's neat. Pop these up on top. But a lot going on with that figure. I mean, that's a whole lot to get for $119. So you're getting, like, basically a whole set here. I mean, this is, this is everything. I don't think they left anything out because if they did, I, I don't know where they put it. 
But that is the uh, Gemini Saga God Cloth figure. And I will figure out how to put that away at a different time. But we're on to another thing, which I'm very excited about because this next one is killer. And this one, as I grab it, is the Good Smile Company has done a shredder figure here. And this is a PVC from Good Smile. I'm going to set this one down here. This is incredible. Now this also, I want to caution you a little bit. Please buy the figure. It's about $179.99 from Good Smile. They make really high quality things. This thing is, everybody knows Shredder, but it definitely lives up to his name because these things are sharp. I mean, like all these little pointed plastic pieces are very, very sharp. So if you are putting this together for someone, you know, in your family, it might be a little bit younger that you're getting for. Just be careful around these sharp edges, but look at the detail on this. You know, the cape is a separate piece. It comes off. The shoulder pads come off. The arm guards come off. The same thing, there's blades up and back of his feet too. These come off. So a lot of removable parts, but a lot of very sharp parts. So you got to be careful as not to get poked by them. But it's a figure that's, I want to say like the, uh, the size on this, I know it's a what scale is it? It's a non-scale, really, but it's probably, let's see here. Let me give you the exact. It is a seven-inch figure, so you can see by this, seven inches from base to top, seven-inch figure. Again, from Good Smile and with $179 retail. This is in stock. Everything you've seen thus far is in stock with Diamond, so if you can't find it in your store, ask them. And the only one that you have seen that's not in stock is the Alfred Hitchcock doll which is from Mondo, but I encourage you to get to a store and buy that. But this one, if you, you can find it, this one actually shipped and was in stores on the 12th of July. Hopefully, maybe they have a couple left for you. I don't know how long these will last on the shelves because they are re really, really well done. And this is you know based on artwork by James Jean, James Jean. So that's really cool. And I'll just give a quite little spin here. And this is also going to be part of a series that will include Bebop, Rocksteady, and Krang. And they'll recreate a full diorama with this. So this is one of those figures that will go along with the diorama. They look good by themselves. And you can see it's a, kind of like a pieced base. You can see where something might go along with it. So that's a neat thing. So when the, the upcoming figures come out, make sure you get them too. So that, again, is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder PVC. And from our friends at Good Smile. Now, another one coming up. This is going to be cool. We've seen something close to this before, too. That one is going to be, as I move him off to the side, the Tiffany Chucky Bishojo. Now, if you recall, and I'll grab it now to show you, we did one of these on a different show of the Chucky Bishojo. So I just happen to have that one here, too. And putting this next to each other... You see how good they look as a pair. So, you know, you might want to consider buying both. Just saying. I mean, they look pretty good. But this, again, as we've already seen at Chucky, is another detailed, you know, statue. This is Kotobukiya MSRP of $74.99, saying at around 8 inches tall. And it's even got everything like, I don't want to you know, zoom down the chest of this thing, but it does have the tattoo on the, um, on the right breast of this, which is kind of a neat little touch. You've got the uh, fingers up in the air, kind of like smoking a cigarette kind of deal. And even the lacing. What's neat about this one that you don't see with some of the other Kodos, if you zoom down into where near her boots are, this isn't painted. These are actually little, you know, like thigh highs on her and they like you know they actually do move a little bit so that's pretty cool to see uh the boots they still like you know plastic laces on there they're not real laces but you'll see on the base you've got the you know bride of chucky you know signature right there so that's pretty cool and this is from our friends at kotobukiya again this is 74.99 the packaging to this looks much like this it's in a window box now the window box has, you know, like I've already taken her out, but you'll see her very clearly through the front. 
and you have little things on the side they'll show you and they do include a picture over here of those thigh highs to show you that they are more detailed in this so that's kind of like stepping it up a little bit more for the Kodo stuff too and then you've got an artist rendition of the statue on this side as well but I really dig these I love the Bishoujo line because Bishoujo means basically beautiful girl in Japanese so they do all these different statues which the next one everybody's probably going to flip out about because it is pretty and pretty darn cool and we'll zoom out a little bit here and that way we can get ready for the next one and i'll pop it in front right here and just from this you can see it's the unbeatable squirrel girl and this is her bishoujo statue from kotobukiya again the same price point it is 74 a 99 she has her little friend tippy toe in her hand right there looking at so that's actually a separate piece these aren't one piece you can take this little squirrel off which is downright adorable who wouldn't want a little squirrel with a little ribbon on its neck come on everybody's be all the rage after this statue and she's got you know she's got her whole outfit on there of course her huge tail right there and then a leafy we're gonna go with leafy base right here Check that out. So it's got kind of like a picture from, you know, fall kind of picture. They just kind of put on top of this, almost like a veneer. But it's really cool. The uh, She's about five and a half inches tall on her little base there. And this is based on the interpretation by master illustrator Shunya Yamashita is the um, is where it's interpreted from. So that's pretty cool or interpreted if I'm not making up words. So she's pretty wild. I like that. We'll get you a like size comparison again. It's a five and a half inch statue, but if you put it next to a bottle of water, you're looking at it being about this tall. This is your standard, you know, whatever ounce bottle. I guess that'll be like a 16 ounce bottle or something. I believe there usually are. So that's Squirrel Girl. And her packaging right here is actually smaller than the um, Bride of uh, Chucky, the Shoujo. It's a little bit smaller, but good looking packaging. Nice artwork. All these do kind of, you know, form a big collection because they are packaged much the same, a lot of those shoujos. So even if you keep them in the box and put them on the shelf, they're going to look good together. So we'll see what the next, uh, the next goodie is here for you. And I only have to grab a couple little things for this one because he's already out on the table and I'm going to slide him over. But check out this guy. Boom. Right here. Tell me what you notice. All right, so this guy right here, so I'll keep everything cool. And this is Donatello. This is from Mondo. This is their 1-6 scale. We're going to kind of pan down this thing and give you all the details in this through his chest and his legs and his tail right there. That's a tail. Yes, it is 100%. I would not lie to you. That is a tail. Okay, so if you remember the early days of the Ninja Turtles, they really did depict like their tails hanging down. So those of you that might have a different thought process about that, I guarantee it's not correct. All right, so Donatello, and he comes with a lot of figures. And who does he come with? Right here, little Krang, krang -a So yeah, so he's got him with him. He's got a grappling hook that comes out and actually does have some, you know, a little bit of length of cord that comes with it. And he's got the old school, because most people say is that air, the old school red head Donatello. So these actually do pop off. You know, it's not as easy as you think, but yeah, but it's, it's pretty simple. They just make it so it can go back on and everything. But you can put his head back on as the red Donatello or just make believe he's Raphael if you really want to. Uh, he comes with multiple sets of hands and he's got like the, you know, the, little grippers in there why am i mind blanking what they're called i used to use these but he's got those in there on two sets of his hands that's pretty neat and it is a very substantial figure this thing has weight to it it is not light he has his staff on the back i'm gonna pop off this head and put back on the you know the traditional the traditional one all right his tail popped out a little bit this is his tail just so everybody sees that it is a tail right there 100% tail okay so I'm gonna pop his tail back into this thing where his tail goes because it is a tail all right and then he's also comes with a baby Donatello look at this this is pre mutation Donatello look how adorable that is look at him and he has a tail 
Tail's out the back of this one. Looks very much like a tail. Okay. And then there's some shurikens, basically throwing stars, all that stuff that come with him. There's two black, you know, black ones here. There's two silver ones. They go on. I was looking to see if they hook to something because they do have holes in the middle, but maybe that's just to hold into his hand somehow. He does have a gun that comes with this. Now, as you'll see in the solicit, you'll see on the lower third of the uh, screen, it'll tell you, you know, the, the order, you know, order number or like where it's listed in the invoice. And then it's the suggested retail price of $149.99 from our friends at Mondo. Uh, this is worth it. I mean, this, if you get like a whole set going of these things, they would look great displayed together. Like I said, it's a substantial figure and he comes with a lot of different accessories. You can see, I'll just put these all in the front so you can kind of get a good look at all the stuff it comes with. I mean, that's a mess of things. And then the box is pretty simple design. It does have a window box that comes with it. And I'll take the little tissue out of there, but it shows you some schematics. It is, you know, so when you're in the store and you want to look at it, you'll see Donatello clearly through the front. And then you've got some artistry on the back, you know, with Eastman and, you know, Laird, you know, from the back in the day with the turtles. And like I said, it's, it's a great looking uh, figure. It's got 25 plus points of articulation, interchangeable heads and hands, weapons, accessories, everything. It's just, you can't say enough good things. You know, it's got the, uh, I mean, it's got everything. Just you know, put it that way. Whatever you want with a Donatello figure, it's got it. So... And since he's got so much going on with him, I'll let one more little pass at him. And then we'll get to the next thing, which is a Figma. Coming at you is a Shielder Mash Kiri Light figure here from Figma, or a Figma itself. Let's go and do this. All right. So you see this? Just much like, much like most of the other um, Max Factory toys, this is going to be about $110, $111 price point. And this is in stock, just like everything else, except the Alfred Hitchcock at Diamond. So if you're in your, your local um, specialty store, comic store, and you say, I want to order this, they can do that for you. Now I'm going to pop this out. This has a couple different faces that come with it. There's not too many accessories to this. So when I go to open it, everything's not going to fly. <laughs> so it tends to happen in some of this like clamshell packaging. Now, taking out the figure, it's got little, it's wrapped a little bit around the legs and all with some plastic to protect from rubbing on anything else in the box, which is nice. They always try to protect things here and there when they can. We'll go. She does have a lot of little um, pointy pieces that come off her, so sliding this off might take a second, but it's all good. And here she is. Check it out. And this one, again, like anything else, we'll give a little measurement on it. This will be somewhere over maybe like a five and a half inch kind of mark. And retail of, like I said, $111 for this. These things are the Figmas. They're highly collectible. A lot of these are getting produced. They're pretty much one shipping almost every week, it feels like, for Max Factory. Because I get a lot of these in here, all the Figmas. We get ones from Legend of Zelda. We get a lot of other stuff, and they really do have a lot of things. But she does come with accessories. Got this big shield right here. And it's got two different faces that can be interchangeable on here as well. So there's that one. And there's another one, but I have really gigantic hands, and getting it out might be a little bit of a chore. So there we go. So see, hey, imagine that on there. Okay, because we don't have all the time in the world. All right, so that is that figure for the uh, Shielder Mash Kiri Light, I'm guessing, because I'm like I said, don't, forgive me on pronunciations on some of these characters because they're not always the most well-known. Some are very specialty-like, but it is a very cool figure from our friends at Max Factory. So very, very cool. And I will stick this off to the side. And while I'm at it, you can stare at this bottle of water. Okay. So, next one, right here, in all its glory. This is the Legend of Zelda uh, Twilight Princess version Zelda uh, from Good Smile. 
Now this one is about $78.99 is the uh, price point on it. Again, in stock. It's another Figma. There is things going on with this one. We're not going to do exactly what we did with the last one and keep opening every single one of these. We'll let you know that they are in stock and available. Um, try to get at least the figure out so you get a good look at the figure itself. It does have some wrapping on it. But here is Zelda. If we can get these feet lined up the way I want so that it just stands. Okay. So, Zelda Twilight Princess, $78.99. Again, some people might get little shell, you know, or sticker shock by seeing the price of some of these things. And again, these aren't just your typical action figure um, things. These are collectibles. These are little tiny things you're going to make a large collection of. They're very well made. They're highly detailed, and they take a lot of time and effort to put together. And like I said, you get a lot of different accessories with this. You get like, you know, like a, like a bow and a sword and another face. There's a lot of other things piled into this, and you have bases that will hold the uh, doll itself. So again, this is the Figma from Max Factory and Good Smile for Twilight Princess Zelda. She is pretty darn good looking for a Figma. Of course, all the Figmas are very you know detailed. So we'll pop her back in here, and we'll go on to the next one. The packaging, again, is just very simple packaging. And we're going to go into right here with Mega Man. This is the Battle Network Nendroid. So, again, another cool figure from our friends at Good Smile. This is from the popular game celebrating its 15th anniversary, Mega Man Battle Network. So, it's fully articulated Nendroid, and it's pretty dope. I like it. It's got weapons and everything in included with it. Simple packaging. Again, just window box. But shows you some of the things that are on there. I'm going to pop him open. These are neat. And again, another great collectible. This one, price point's a little bit less. It's this little smaller figure, but I feel like it has a lot going for it at $53.99. I don't think you'll be disappointed in starting a collection of these because they are pretty cool. Um... Just try to take off all this little stuff for the actual figure. Let me pop him up here. Get a look at him. He's adorable. And you know, pieces come off of these things and they get interchangeable heads, faces. So you look, there's another face for you. I think maybe it goes that way. <laughs> if you want it upside down, you know you can do that. But yeah, so these, these come off and it's got a base to hold them up because you can do this balancing act all day. And he's got hands and weapons and everything packaged behind him. So really cool. Like it's got plenty of things in here. It's a good value at $53.99. Again, in stock, go to your local comic store, ask them for it. If they don't have it, ask them to order it from Diamond for you. And you have the order code on the, uh, on the screen right there. You can refer to and they'll be able to get it for you. Now I'm also going to show you a few things that are available that you might not, let's not, there's no solicit for them as far as on the screen to show you all the information, but I will be able to tell you. And those would be some previews exclusive pop vinyls. So if you look at all these, you've got, let's go, let's go one at a time here. You've got the Walking Dead Biker Daryl. This is a previews exclusive pop. For those of you who love the pop vinyl line, and it's a very big thing, Funko is absolutely killing it across the market. Going to be a billion-dollar toy company within a very short time. Uh, Brian Moriarty, their, uh, their CEO, does a great job of fanfare. Went to Funko Fridays. I just got back from San Diego uh, Comic-Con, and it was incredible to see what they do for their fans and all the licenses they are pursuing and have. This is one of the 300 license plus that Funko has in their arsenal. So there's Biker Daryl, previous exclusive. Now let's go through here. This is an awesome one, the Joker, okay? Previous exclusive. This is from The Dark Knight Returns. Very cool in his white suit. Part of your previous exclusive, and we know previous exclusives are gonna be available at your specialty shops. That's what makes it previews exclusive. So people that order out of previews have the opportunity to purchase previews exclusive 
uh, products this being one of them. So make sure you go to your comic shop, say, do you have the previous exclusive Batman Dark Knight Returns uh, Joker pop? And while you're at it, ask for the Black Bolt. Why not? You can't have no Black Bolt, for lack of a better thing to say. <laughs> so <laughs> if that was something very William Shatner of me. But yeah, so the Black Bolt, previous exclusive. Again, simple figure, but it is a previous exclusive in the black and silver outfit. And I don't know who likes Wonder Woman. Maybe the person that's running the switcher right now <laughs> in the studio. But Wonder Woman, DC Universe, previous exclusive. She's got her silver outfit on. Really cool. And this you can see in the back. It's got Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman in that set. And coming down to it, we have the Armored Batman. Now, this one's got a little grimace on his face. No cowl on Armored Batman. Previous exclusive from the Dark Knight Returns. And, again, you'll see all the ones available, you know, with the Joker and Carrie and all those, those figures involved with it, too. Again, this is from Funko. I'm going to show you something else that you may not have seen but I did bring back from San Diego Comic-Con. And these are from our friends at Diamond Select Toys. There was two Vinnie Mates available. Well, one of a couple Vinnie Mates. There's more than this available. But this is the Robbie the Robot with Blaster San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Vinnie Mate. Vinnie Mates, if you love pop vinyls, if you love the small collectible line, you are going to love Vinnie Mates. These things are very, very carefully crafted and detailed to make a one hell of a collectible. So you have a little tinier one. I mean, it's basically the size of kind of near a pop vinyl would be. So you figure like the box packaging goes up about six inches. They're usually about anywhere from a four to a five and a half inch figure, somewhere around there. But this is Robbie from Forbidden Planet. That's one. And for you people that love classic movies, The Iron Giant. And this one is dubbed the uh, superhero Iron Giant. So not just the Iron Giant, but the superhero Iron Giant. You got the S on his chest. And this is, again, a Diamond Select Toys Vinnie Mate. These things are around that $10 type price point. They are massively affordable. So if you want to get something you want to get your children in or you want to get even the adults into collecting something, look at the line of Vinnie Mates from Diamond Select Toys. They're available at specialty stores. The San Diego Comic-Con exclusive wouldn't be in all stores, but they might be in some. Some stores have the ability to order these and may have some left. So we want to check your local comic shop and ask if they got the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Iron Giant or the um, Robbie the Robot, and I do believe there's a Slimer from Ghostbusters mini mate, or Vinny Mate as well that goes with that. So make sure you check those out. There's, so there was so much good stuff coming out of San Diego that I can't tell you everything, but we'll have more uh, on our next show to show you. Make sure you go to your local comic shops. Give them some love. Be part of that community. Also ask them about the products you've seen here today on the show because they are available. They are in stock with Diamond, like I said, everybody, but Mr. Hitchcock. But if he is in the store, make sure you buy him because it is a really cool figure. But until next time, I will see you, and I hope happy toy hunting, basically. That's all. Thanks for watching Talking Toys. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.